Hello everyone, this is Sharon here from 24-7 Techie and this is the 24-7 Techie night list for the 18th of February 2016. So we'll just quickly get started with the news. So the first official news that we have over here today is uh, very interesting and that is that Xiaomi has come on record and said that the presentations that were leaked yesterday were not actually from Xiaomi. In the official statement, they have actually contacted Android authority for that. So it will be really interesting to see what uh, what they have in store because it's less than a week uh, since the official announcement and uh, we are waiting curiously what will happen. So in an another official news and that is related to Mintra. So Mintra last year went app only and uh, shut down their uh, websites and uh, mobile uh, sites as well. Mintra has taken a clue from uh, Flipkart and has officially uh, brought back the mobile site. So it is interesting to see that they are bringing back the mobile site and uh, it was reported earlier on that they have lost a lot of customers because of uh, not having the mobile sites and the sites and only going on app only. This could be the main reason that they are coming back uh, with the mobile set and all. And in the humorous point of view, we only have uh, one story over here and that is also very uh, upsetting for sure. Specifically for uh, people who were looking forward for the Samsung Galaxy S7. So uh, today more images has leaked and it uh, sort of has made uh, official that the Samsung uh, doesn't really like USB Type-C. So in the S7 leaked image where we see the downside of the phone and what we see over here is the 3.5mm headphone jack, the micro USB port, not the USB type C port, this is a primary microphone and the speaker grid. So everything is justified except for the USB type C. So the companies have started to move to USB type C but uh, Samsung is still uh, stuck with the micro USB and this sort of confirms that they are not really uh, sold on the uh, USB type C technology yet. Most probably will join the, uh, in the later stages of the uh, revolution. These were the news that uh, we had today and now we'll come to the Q&A segment and, uh, and the first question that we have over here, what video gear am I using right now? So what video gear I, I'm using right now is not really very professional or anything. I'm just starting. I have a Nikon P100 with me in the camera point of view, in the mic point of view. I have the, this mic. And in the tripod point of view, I have this tripod. So I don't really have a lot of fancy video gear right now. I've just started this channel about seven to eight months ago, not uh, earned a lot and invested a lot. So right now I'm only having these three things uh, in the video gear. Thank you for asking the question. Another question we get is uh, which, for, which phone will be better for uh, watching the movie, the LE1S versus the K4 Note. And uh, definitely the K4 Note will be better in watching uh, the movie, the media experience because of the front facing speakers because of the a little bit better on display quality there's not uh, a very big difference there's a little bit difference video viewing experience or the movie viewing experience the k4 note will definitely be a better choice another question we get when will be the giveaway winners be announced if you have entered in the giveaway there will be all the details uh, mentioned in, in the link uh, provided in the description so you can check it out over there all dates are pre present over there so you won't have to think about when will the winner be announced and the winners will be announced on Twitter as always. So another interesting question that we get over here is that does routing affect the motherboard of a phone? So routing can affect the motherboard and uh, that's all up to you. And another question from him is uh, can, I, can I make a video on uh, uh, pros and cons of uh, routing a phone? I can think about it uh, but uh, uh, right now uh, about uh, if it affects the motherboard or not. It can affect the motherboard if you try to overclock a phone or anything. So what routing does is that yeah, it gives you extra permissions. It gives you extra options to tweak your phone and routing can definitely cause problems who doesn't really know what they are doing and uh, just uh, tweak around with the settings. Asking about the motherboard specifically, uh, there's only one scenario that I can think about it right now is that you try to overclock your phone and you cannot do overclocking of your phone without uh, root access. So uh, if you have root access and uh, uh, download an app which allows a kernel auditor or something like that or which allows you to overclock your phone scores and if you do it uh, over too much and uh, play heavy games or stress your phone then it can affect the motherboard as uh, it will heat up uh, too much. In another this scenario I don't really think uh, routing can affect the motherboard it is mostly for the software but only one scenario can affect the software uh, to the hardware and that is overclocking of a phone so we do have a follow-up question over here and that is really good to see thank you for uh, asking that Abhishek so a question that yesterday we got uh, off about uh, Nexus 5x 32 gigs and uh, in, a, 
in that budget what will i suggest i suggested him you utopia with the cm30 nightlies which are now officially available so he's having a follow up question is lenovo vibe x3 a good option first of all and second of all uh, he has heard that uh, lenovo vibe x3 camera performance is not good first of all in my thoughts for 20000 rupees lenovo vibe x3 is a great phone it is just a killer deal but a couple of things that you will miss out on the, that phone will be first of all you will not be having any sign engine support for uh, specifically sign engine mode because uh, sign engine os is just uh, pathetic uh, on that phone so sign engine mode 13 nightlies won't be available for vibe x3 right now and second of all i am really sad to see lenovo's flagship not having uh, backlit keys so the vibe x3 doesn't have backlit keys that is really sad to see as well third of all the overall footprint of the phone is big because it's in 5.5 inch full hd screen compared to you utopia's 5.2 inch quad hd screen but lenovo vibe x3 is a good phone because of the front facing speakers because of the uh, huge battery uh, because of the snapdragon 808 which is an power efficient high performance chipset and a 3500 mah battery with snapdragon 808 and only in full hd screen it will be an amazing battery life for sure so in my opinion if uh, i am having a budget of uh, 25000 to 30000 rupees a uh, utopia is great but uh, a lenovo vibe x3 is also a very good choice and uh, when we talk about the lenovo vibe x3's camera yes the camera does miss ois but uh, it has been reported that the camera performance on the x3 is decent so the low light photography on the x3 isn't good but this is the same case with the u utopia so the low light photography on both the phones isn't good but normal daylight photography is good so in camera point of view you will not be disappointed so do contact me if you have uh, any more doubts and i will surely get in touch with you and another question we have over here is that uh, can you explain the terms mobile camera pixel size or is uh, f2.2 aperture noise and uh, everything Thing. so uh, actually you have a very interesting question very uh, good question and i actually need to research on this a little bit more so i will get back to this question in a couple of days for sure and thank you for asking this because i i am not really very good with the, this cameras and the specs of the cameras but uh, i do know a little bit of it and i will research on this a little bit more i can provide you what what all knowledge you uh, what all things you want and i will definitely uh, get back to this question for sure thank you so these were most of the questions uh, that i got uh, for the uh, day and uh, if you think i was not able to answer your question or i missed your question do comment on the video and uh, ask your question again and i will surely answer it uh, asap and uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, and please do subscribe to our channel it helps us a lot and you will also not miss any of our content do like this video do share this video it tells us that you like our hard work and i really hope to see you in my next video till then see ya